But we have to cover it, so let's ask about it. What's the relationship that you had with Michael Jackson? Uh, had or have? I mean, it's kind had of, both. you know, whatever. Uh, let's go with had to Listen, have. You know, no, he's just, he's a good friend of mine, and he still is. I mean, everything that's going on, I mean, it's unfortunate. It's an unfortunate situation for, for everyone involved, and, you know. How did you first get to meet him? Uh, I first met him, he kind of called me randomly, like out of the blue. You're just kind of like, hi. Michael and I was like hey and the thing this is was with, after Home Alone this or? is after Home Alone I actually had met him before I was doing a um, Nutcracker at Lincoln Center I was playing Fritz and he came oh, backstage one day and I, I actually met him very briefly and he kind of recognized me because it was after I'd done Uncle Buck and so he kind of mentioned something and then he calls me up kind of out of the blue and it's kind of just this weird random thing and he was like why don't you come over to my house and the thing is I didn't react to him the way most people did most people were like Michael Jackson and you know I mean he was a god to people and to me he was you know I knew he was a pop singer, but beyond that, you know, I didn't, I wasn't one of the fans. I think that's one of the reasons why we connected, was the fact that, you know, I, believe me, I call him a jerk all the time. I call him a fathead and this and that, you and know, and he gets it. brother knew him too? Yeah, yeah, no, we all did. I mean, he was, you know, a family friend, and What basically. happened at the house? That's what all these things it's, that people you know, that's, are concerned about. That's what's about. so weird, you know. What did happen? Nothing happened, you know. Nothing. I mean, nothing, really. I mean, we played video games, you know. We, we you know, played Sleep it as an amusement bed. park. Well, the thing is, the thing is with that whole thing is that, you know, they go, oh, you slept in the same bedroom as him. It's like, I don't think you understand. Michael Jackson's bedroom is two stories. <laughs> and it has, like, like, three bathrooms and this and that. So when I slept in his bedroom, yeah, but you have to understand the whole scenario. And the thing is with Michael is that he's not very good at explaining himself, and he never really has been, because he's not a very social person. I mean, he's, you're talking no. about someone who's been sheltered and sheltering himself also for the last, like, 30 years, or you know. And so he's not very good at communicating to people and not very good at conveying what he's actually trying to say to you. And so when he says something like that, you know, people, you know, he doesn't quite understand why people react the way that they do. Why do you think he likes young people so much? It's because it, it's the same reason why he liked me, was the fact that I didn't care who he was. That was the thing. I talked to him like he was a normal human being. And that's what, and, and kids do that to him because he's not, I mean, he's Michael Jackson, the pop singer, but he's not the god of, you know, the king of pop or anything like that. He's just, you know, a guy who's actually very kid-like himself and wants to go out there and wants to play video games with you. Did your parents like encourage that. it? Um, I, they weren't against it. You know, it wasn't like they encouraged it or, like, pushing me upon it. It was just kind of like I wanted to hang out with him, and they were fine with it. So what do you make of what he's going through now? Like, I, you know, like I said, it's unfortunate, and, you know, it's, it's a circus right now. You think it's a bad rap? Uh, you know, I think so, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, listen, like, look what happened on the first time, the first time this happened to him. You know, if someone had done something like that to my kid, I would, you know, I wouldn't just settle for some money. You know, I'd make sure the guy was in jail, you know, and I, it just really sh goes to show, I mean, as soon as, you know, they got the money and they ran, I mean, that's really what happened the first time. And so, you know, I don't know, it's just, it's a little crazy, and I kind of have taken a step back from the whole thing, because it is a bit of a circus, and... You know, if the same thing was happening to me, I wouldn't want to drag him into it, and vice versa. So I try my best to keep a distance from it, but like I said, he's still a friend of mine. If you a character witness, would you appear? Um, I guess so, but I don't, I, pro I probably not. I mean, like I said, it's crazy, and I don't really want to be a part of it, you know? Would you like him? I like him, and he's a friend of mine. I'm not saying I wouldn't do mm. something like that. It just hasn't been brought up to, you know, brought up to me, and I don't think he'd want me to either, just because, like I said, you know, if the same thing was happening to me. I wouldn't want him what to be reaction elected. has happened to you from all of this? What do you mean? I mean, people. How do people, do people inquire of you a lot about it? Uh, sometimes, you? yeah. I mean, pe you know, people always have, like, their opinions. And they always, you know, it's funny. I mean, people always talk to me about him because, you know, I'm one of these people who will tell you anything about my life, really, hmm. to get me going, you know. And so, yeah, I mean, I freely and openly talk hmm. about him and stuff like that. But overall, you know, he's just a good friend of mine. Would you wish him well? Yes, of course hmm. I do. What got you into